Join me at this time welcoming Chairman Pernell Swift. Academically 
and culturally enriched. Being here on this campus is one of the, those opportunities. Did you know that this campus used to be an American Indian college? The grandfather of this Columbia tribe of North Carolina petitioned the state for education was in 1887. Before then, an Indian could not get an education because in 1833, listen to this now, in 1833, Indians were disenfranchised along, along with other persons of color. However, in 1888, the university was founded and funded by American Indians, four American Indians, by a grant of $550 from the state legislature. Take advantage of this opportunity like this to learn more about the rich heritage of our great state. With that said, I would just like to give you a brief history of my people before we begin our cultural presentation. The Lumbee people are the present day descendants of the Chirac Indians. So, so I'm speaking tribe first, encountered by the Europeans in 1524. After winning formal recognition from the state of North Carolina in 1885, the head of a large extended Lumbee family united to petition for federal recognition. Between 1888 and 1956, several bills were introduced in the United States Congress for federal recognition. And by the way, I think we had about 11 studies on us during that period of time to determine whether or not we have any necessity and set <clears throat> The bill uh, prompted federal investigators into the status and condition of Lumbees, and repeatedly these findings conclude that the tribe to be a large group of Indians with present social and economic needs. Finally, in 1956, the United States enacted legislation that acknowledged that the Lumbees while forbidding any customary federal Indian benefits, in other words, they, Congress passed the bill, said we're Columbians, and then turned right around and took out away from us in the next breath any entitlements for BIA and other federal programs. Since then, the U.S. House of Representatives has passed a bill three times to extend full federal recognition to the Lumbees. Although two of these efforts have failed in the United States Senate, I remain confident that our current bill in the Senate will be confirmed and this gross miscarriage of justice done by the Lumbee for the Lumbee tribe will finally be corrected. Today, the Lumbee tribe is the only tribe in the state of North Carolina to govern itself by a constitution. This constitution establishes a tribal government that consists of 21 council members, a tribal chairman, myself, and a tribal supreme court which constitutes the legislative body, executive body, and the judicial branch, respectively, pattern after the United States government. I sincerely appreciate your time and interest tonight. I brought also a few dancers, dancers along with the drummers, drum group. It is my hope that you will enjoy this cultural enrichment program we have for you tonight. And remember, take full advantage of the experience and opportunities that are going to be afforded to you through this program. Again, thank you and enjoy tonight and this event. <clears throat> 